Hi, welcome back everyone and welcome to Birds and Beyond um, channel. Uh, today I am going to show you a um, kind of a review, I guess, of what the birds think of an automatic pet uh, watering dish. Um, I wanted it for a bird bath so that they had fresh running water, but I needed something kind of petite. So um, the first part of this I kind of sped up so that you didn't have to see everything getting unwrapped and all that kind of stuff But I did want you to see like how it's packaged how it arrived um, And how easy it is to put together. It was it is relatively easy um, It even has this little mat that goes underneath which is kind of nice um, I'm not using it for the birds because um, I have um, kind of artificial turf in their cage anyway so um, the size of it is really good for the birds to get into and take a bath, but it was a little challenging for me to get it into the cage um, because um, depending on the sizes of the the doors on your on your cages. So you do want to keep that in mind. Um, there will be a, a link below in the description um, to where I purchased this. So if you would like to purchase one yourself, um, they also have a larger version if you have. Um, a you know a bigger bird or if you would like it for a cat or a dog so I actually think I will end up getting one for the cats too because I know that they really like it but I just wanted to take a look at this one um, I think I got this one for about $17 so here I've already gone ahead and put it into the the bird cage I did I spared you that video so um, I'm in the process here of trying to get it all plugged in and that kind of stuff, adding the water. Um, initially, I started out um, with the the flower um, attachment there to see if the birds would come down um, and just take a look at it. Also, it's really whisper quiet. I was really impressed with how quiet the motor is on it. Um, the only time it made any kind of noise is when the water level started to get low. So for me, that was actually a good thing because I can, um, that, that let me know I needed to add water immediately versus letting it go. So my birds did not respond to coming with the little spout on there. So I actually waited about seven or eight minutes. Um, I spared you that part of the video too. <laughs> So um, you can also take the spout off, as you can see, and make it where um, it just kind of free flows more like a, just kind of a bubbling brook, if you will. And um, eventually my guys did ultimately come down, but still I was having a hard time getting them to come down. So um, I did take their food out of their their cage um, so that they would start to focus on the water because normally this particular group of my birds like love love bath time like it is their serious favorite part of the day which is why you see so many videos of mine on my little bird baths because they genuinely enjoy it so still as you can see it just seems like it's taking forever for them to come on down so um, I go ahead and I went ahead and put like their traditional bird bath bowl that I've been using which is a tiny bit of water beside it um, and then I tried to kind of shoo some of them down so that we could get an, get them just down to that area where they could see the water and start to um, you know get into the bath ultimately because I wanted to see if they if they liked it or not um, the thing I like about it is it has a filter in the bottom um, that you can't see it's a um, like a charcoal filter and um, I did wash thoroughly the whole um, bowl and I also ran um, several things of water through it multiple times for for about an hour I actually let it run and clean everything and make sure that it was good because um, birds are very sensitive so um, keep in mind if you decide to go this route I would strongly advise that you can thoroughly wash it um, and make sure that you wash the, um, the filter system as well so that there's no dust or particles or anything that your birds can get a hold of because again their systems are pretty sensitive so soon we will see our first little fluttery friends come down and get a little curious um, and thankfully so I would say all in all it took about 10 minutes 
for them to cooperate whereas normally I put down their water bowl and they are like in it right away um, but also it can be that the camera was here and they have that little sense and they play hide and seek on me and don't always come um, down for the camera because um, they like to make things challenging for me but um, overall I think that they really um, have enjoyed it so far so I this one I'm, I'm going to leave it in this cage and just keep cleaning it as needed change out the filter as needed and um, you know make it so that um, um, they, these guys always have a, kind of their own fresh water source so as you can see they are coming on down and they are um, really starting to get a little curious um, the first one to get super curious was the canaries um, and then um, the finch ultimately goes in um, taking a little drink and then the, the the canaries are going to be the ones that go diving in first like okay this is bath time they actually really seem to enjoy even getting onto the fountain source um, the sizing is just perfect for um, uh, really about four to five could fit in there but mine tend to do about two to three at a time um, and that's even because I mean I usually put two watering dishes in there for them but now I'm just going to leave this one and that way they can go in anytime they want to and take their baths so um, the um, the um <laughs> sorry i lost my train of thought there um overall i would say it's it's a really great buy and i i um i mean for 17 dollars you just can't beat it i don't know how long it's gonna last because i will have it running all the time but if you had it for a cat a dog or a bird i would imagine this is the way it's always going to be anyway the most critical things of course is to keep it clean and sanitary and also um, keep fresh water in it um, so that the pump does not um, burn out um, I am going to go ahead and order another one and try it for um, my budgies because they are not my water babies the way that these guys are um, these guys just love the water and, and they um, have so much fun with it but um, my budgies they are sneaky they don't like to take a bath in front of other people um, but they need it they're very clean birds but they just don't always want to get into the bath so I think with the um, the active water source where it's it's running and they can see it and um, you know they will want to get in and really enjoy it so um, obviously to move it from cage to cage would be very challenging so I will just start adding like one per cage um, of my my groups my flocks if you will um, and see how they do with it and I will update you and do more videos on that so do remember that the link for um, this particular one is um, down below in the description if you're interested um, please comment um, if you have any um, great water bath sources little things that you've done for your birds I would love to hear about them so please comment below if you have um, any requests for videos please comment below we'd love it if you like this video and also of course if you would subscribe that um, would help a lot and um, if you have any suggestions for us one way or the other please feel free to comment below thank you and have an awesome day and enjoy um, all of the little bird sounds and I, I hope that you enjoyed this video thanks so much